Hello, Spencer with Townline Equipment. And today, we're gonna show you the mechanical layout of this UML 125 built by FAE. This is a fixed tooth mulcher with a max capacity of around six inches. It requires hydraulic flow of anywhere from 25 to 38 gallons per minute. This UML coupler was built so it can pin directly onto the machine. There is no coupler on this. On the left side of the boom, this is your pressure inline. Next to it is the electrical connection for the hydraulic door that this mulcher has. That hydraulic door is used to control the debris exiting the mulcher and also it restricts the discharge and the machine will mulch the material up finer. The couplers that are used on this are three quarter inch body Stucci thread locking couplers. They thread together and then they have a cotter pin here that actually locks them in. So even with vibration or the hose rotating in and out, they cannot back off. As we walk around to the other side of this machine, you will see right here, this is the hydraulic door. So it can come down and close. And what that does is the materials coming up through these combs and being reduced to a finer size. On the right side here, you have your return line, which goes direct to tank, and then you also have a case drain. So this mulcher, if it's building up pressure in its motor, the little line here is able to relieve that extra pressure built up. Everything was done with the idea that this customer can switch back to his thumb. So he would unpin his mulcher, put his bucket back on, unthread his hoses and then his thumb can thread right back in to the uh, two auxiliary lines. As we work our way to the back of the machine, his return line comes here. This is a very important factor. It needs to have a direct to tank valve. You cannot return the flow through the valves. Behind this panel is how we feed the mulcher. Up top there is the priority valve. What that valve is doing is it is taking the flow from the two pumps and it is diverting about 30% of that directly to the head and the remaining flow to the machine's valve stack. What this does is gives us a very uniform constant flow to the mulcher first and then all of the extra flow is used for the functions. Track, boom up, curl the rest. Part of the installation on this machine the mulcher can run a high pressure, so its relief is set to 4,400 PSI. The thumb, you won't want that high. So what you need to do is install a valve on the left here. That valve shuts off the valve slice for the thumb and allows us to run that high 4,400 PSI relief pressure. Over on this side is the return to tank valve. So with the amount of flow that we are putting through the mulcher, you can't return it through the auxiliary slice here. So we turn that valve and return it back to tank. Now in the case that we have a very bad day and the pump uh, explodes or something else happens or just material gets in the line, it's very important to also install a filter on the way back to your tank. That way if something were to go wrong, your filter is gonna catch that debris and it won't get returned into the excavator system.
the cab here, we've used all of the OEM's uh, buttons on the joystick. So these were dead and we reused them for our functions. On the right side, you have the on off for the mulcher. So we will click this in, his light will go on when there's power. And the mulcher will ramp up. On the left hand control, we have our door open and our door close. So all of the controls for the mulcher are right here on the same sticks to operate the machine. If this video has generated questions about the line of FAE hydraulic driven mulchers, please reach out to any of our locations in Vermont, New Hampshire, or New York. For more videos like this, visit our website, townlineequipment.com.